A fallen hero from West Michigan is laid to rest. Sergeant Mark Schoonhoven died last month, one month after getting struck by an IED in Afghanistan. He served in the Army for seven years and traveled to Afghanistan on multiple tours of duty. Schoonhoven leaves behind a wife and six children. Today, West Michigan paid tribute to the Plainwell native with a meaningful funeral and procession. News Channel 3 Shireen Tagarovi shares the final farewell. It's very difficult for them, and, and this fallen soldier deserves to be buried in peace and dignity, and his family needs to see that, that people care. We, we didn't know him, but we support him. He's an American. Sharon Gilmore stood outside St. Margaret's Church with pride and patriotism today, among hundreds there to honor a fallen soldier. We just have that bond, you know. We're just a small town in the Midwest, but, you know, we care. Chris Newland wants Sergeant Schoonhoven's family to know his hometown of Otsego supports the Plainwell native 100% third oldest football rivalry in the state, but uh, the rivalry w it ends when it comes to something like this. Stars and stripes lined the procession route, 2,000 flags waving in the snow. But it just, it chokes you up. You just can't help but just feel something with all of those flags so close together all the way through to the city limits. You know, it's just amazing. And just snow the whole time until right when they were driving out. It's pretty amazing. A beautiful drive all the way to Fort Custer National Cemetery, where Schoonhoven's family and friends laid him to rest. This is the worst nightmare. This is the worst case scenario is that you get that phone call or that car pulling up saying the worst has happened. He paid the ultimate sacrifice and so did they. The grief that this family is going to carry, the parents and, and the, the little kids and everything the rest of their lives, to see support, to see the flags, to know that complete strangers were willing to come out, this will stay with them for the rest of their lives and this will give them comfort to know that they're not alone. In Otsego, Shireen Tagarobi, News Channel 3.